Apollo 7 to this day is still the longest, the most ambitious, the most successful first test flight of any new flying machine ever. When we get to see something outside, if I happen to be able to look through a window, we felt fortunate we could look down and see something. When we looked down, we saw the uh, landscape. It was terribly tortured and, and uh, you know, disturbed with meteorites and volcanoes. And it, and it looked like a, uh, and there was no color at all. It was either uh, black or white, and so different shades of gray. It was a, uh, a very lonely, I, well, I would say hostile looking place. When we looked at, up over the lunar horizon, and there was the Earth, the only thing in the world, the only thing in the universe that had any color. You see what a beautiful planet it is and how lonely and isolated we are in a universe that's bigger than imagination. And we better learn how to get along and, and take care of it. Contact light. Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. We've got one more item for you when you get a chance. We'd like it to uh, stir up your cryo tanks. Okay, stand by. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Uh, when I got to the right couch position, I had been in the limb, putting away equipment we had pulled out for a TV show. And when I got to look at the instrument panel, it very quickly I realized we had lost one oxygen tank of two. It was tank two. It clearly was uh, a loss of a major component like that would mean an abort. So I knew right then that we had lost uh, the landing mission. Of the Apollo 13 to the moon is in serious jeopardy this morning and is not going to make a moon landing. You really knew you had it. You're probably okay when the main chutes came out. When you could, and you could look at those because they're above you, looking out the window. So when you saw that, uh, you knew pretty much the mission was uh, safely over.
uh, it was uh, really a, a, a wonderful experience to uh, uh, step onto the moon. It, our landing site was very rough. Uh, it was uh, rolling topography, craters and rocks. Uh, and uh, the excitement, uh, the wonder, uh, the awe, uh, the beauty of the moon, all of these emotions are just feelings just uh, flowing, uh, flowing through me uh, during that time. Lunar Rover is very bouncy across the moon. The moon, of course, no roads uh, and uh, the suspension system of the rover was very, very springy, so uh, the, the, th the thing bounced a lot. And also it was like driving on ice. The back end kept sliding side to side uh, because of the very sensitive steering. Uh, and, but it was really fun uh, riding the rover and uh, b bouncing across the lunar surface.